Hi guys, so in this video we're going to tell you why we think that you should try an MSC cruise. Uh, we see a lot of people hating on MSC, <laughs> we really enjoyed it and uh, we're just here, not being paid by the way. No, <laughs> There's all no... thoughts and opinions are our own. <laughs> exactly, so this is just our thoughts and opinions on why you should try an MSC cruise for at least once. Right, so we're just going to take it back a little bit because if you are new to this channel, we're going to talk about why we're sat here now raving about MSC and how we first got into cruising. So in May 2022, we did our first cruise after for years saying that we'd never do one. We did our first one on the P&O Iona. Yep. Absolutely loved it. And then three weeks later, we got back from there and three weeks later, we were then booked to go on the MSC Virtuosa. At this point, we knew nothing about cruising. We didn't even know, I never even heard of MSC cruises. No. Didn't know what the Virtuosa was. We got such a good deal that we just booked it there and then. Yeah, and then... After we booked. <laughs> yeah, and then after that, we did another MSC one on the Sea View. Yeah. And then after that, we did another one on the Virtuosa. And the MSC cruises made us just fall in love with cruising. So we ended up doing three MSC cruises in the space of like five six, months. Five months. Yeah. Yeah. And while you're watching this, we'll actually be on the PNDO Britannia. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to give you five reasons we think you should try an MSC cruise. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start off with number one, which we think is they've got such great deals. MSC, you've got to keep a lookout all year round because yeah. they do deals such as like free balconies. They do really good drinks packages deals. I think you can get it as little as £25 per person for the premium drinks package. Yes. They also do like a, is it like a drinks promo or something where it works out 100 and something pound more for the There's drinks diff, package? The, like the, the offers change all the time. The last one we've just seen where they do a, they had a promo offer on one of the cruises and then yeah. the drinks promo offer. Uh, I think that was like £120 extra for a week's cruise. Uh, the drinks on a week's cruise. So they've got offers all the time that are changing. And I know what's good with MSC for children is all year round, I think children aged 2 to 17 have a reduced fare starting from, we wrote it down, £119, <laughs> which is a really good deal. That's with two sharing a cabin with two adults yeah. but they also so keep a look out at certain times of the year do free child pl places i did go for book a cruise the other day we'll put that over now where it was the same price for two adults as it was for two adults and two children i think yeah. that was a northern cruise right somewhere on the virtuosa it was just an example yeah. to show you msc also offer a, a loyalty program match so if you built up your points with real caribbean Princess, any of the other cruise lines, mm -hmm. they will match your status, yeah. which is a good um, thing to get you extra discounts or whatever the loyalty programs are. Now, I think to do that, you have to go onto the MSC website and there's like a form that you have to fill out and yeah. you send it off to them and then they get back to you. Obviously, it's saying who are your points with now, what status are you with the, with that company. I'm guessing you'd have Just to fill like in that. Like yeah. your, your loyalty number yeah. so they can... Double check so you're not lying. Yeah, you're not making it up. <laughs> we said our first cruise with MSC was in June 2022 and we booked a, well, it was the same price for a inside yes. cabin as it was for a balcony. They were doing free upgrades. Yeah. So we actually paid like, say, £600 and something pound for the both of us with the balcony. So yeah. it is, you know, they do have some cracking deals on these kind of things yeah. throughout the year. And I just think, you know, in this day and age, you know, holidays can be expensive and, you know, I think just this way, you just still get to, like, go away. Yeah. You just make it very budget-friendly, don't you, that you yes. still get to have a holiday. I know you could sit here and compare them to, well, MSC don't do free ice no, cream all day or stuff like that, but you've got to think about the deals that you can get with yeah. them, you know, which are brilliant, really. And um, when you think, like, say, that's your food for the week yeah, and free water, tea and coffee, you haven't... Yes, it's including the price, but it's classed mm -hmm. as free. And the prices they charge for, say, balconies, I don't think are that much compared to, say, a P&O. 
in general. Yeah, no, so that's not. another good thing that the, the upgrades aren't that much, I don't think. No, and then when we went on the MSC Virtuosa the second time, we did the Christmas market cruise in November yep. and we had a premium outside cabin. Yes. And we got, I think even that was, was that like un, just under £900 for the both yeah. of us for a week? And that cabin, go check that video out, was absolutely massive. Yes. And again, that was another deal that we were doing. Yeah, there's like I say, to constant deals. For like deals. a premium cabin. Yeah. So, yeah, constant deals, just keep an eye out. And if you see a good deal, get it booked. So next up, number two, we've got their vast range of ships and itineraries. So in total, at the moment, they're still bringing out new ones. Yep. There is 22 ships in the MSC fleet and they range from different sizes. So passenger wise, they range from 2,520 capacity to a 6,334 capacity ship. Yep. And that's ranging from 13, a ship with 13 decks and then ships with all the way up to 20 decks. Yes. So there's a good selection there yes. depending on what suits you. So if you like the smaller, Littler ships. More intimate. Yeah, yeah. you don't like the walking. No. You, maybe you're a bit <laughs> older. Knees can't handle them stairs if there's a queue for the lifts. <laughs> you might want a smaller one. But then, just to say that, it does say 20 decks. I think the sea view we went on was classed as 20 decks. The 20th deck was where we got the zip line. Um. Yeah, so, you know, it's not a full deck. <laughs> just bear that a in mind. Anything goes. <laughs> How MSC works is they have like classes of ship. So at the moment, I think they've got eight classes of ship. Right. I think they're having about 10 by 2024 20, oh, right. or something like that. Right. And I think obviously, um, I'll go through them now, but I'll name like the odd ship that's in that class, but I won't name all of them because yeah. uh, there is like say 22 ships in total. So it starts off with number one, which was the Lyrica class, and that's the first class yep. that MSC started doing. So that's obviously their older, smaller ships. And for example, the MSC Opera is in that. Next up, number two, you've got the Musica class, and the MSC Orchestra is in that. Then you've got number three, the Fantasia class, and that's got the MSC Preziosa and the Splendida in there. And then number four, you've got the Seaside class, and that's got the Sea View and the Seaside ship in there. We did the Sea View, didn't we? Yeah, and then I think Seaside is the sister ship. Yes. So I think they group like the sister ships together in yeah. some of these. And then number five, you've got the Seaside EVO class, and that's got the Seashore and the Seascape. Again, I think they're sister ships. Right, okay. <laughs> and then number six, you've got the Meraviglia class, and that's got the MSC Bellissima and the Meraviglia in there. And then next up, number seven, you've got the Meraviglia Plus class. And in that, you've got the Virtuoso, which again, right. that we've been on, and the Grandiosa. So again, the sister, sister ships. ships yeah. yeah. And then number eight, you've got the World class, which has currently got the World Europa in. Yeah. I know they're bringing out the MSC, is it the Eurebia? They're bringing out the Eurebia, which from what I can see is similar to the Virtuoso. And then they're on about... Yes, that's right, yeah. yeah. It is going in the same class, so that'll be going in the Meraviglia Plus class, yes. I believe. Yeah, because it's the sister ship of that as well. They will be bringing out a World America class... Uh, uh, ship to go in the world class ships, which will be the same as the World Europa. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that the World Europa will stay in Europe and the America will stay in North and South America. Maybe they'll bring a... Asianic one out that'll do Australia Ooh, and uh, maybe, yeah. Asia. Who knows? So that, like you say, there's just plenty to choose from yeah. there. And then moving on to the itineraries. So they sail all year round in the Caribbean and the Mediterranean. That's right. They also sail, say, like I know they do the fjords, mm -hmm. Northern Europe, which we did at the Christmas market. These ones are more seasonal. Yes, yeah. I know they do uh, South American, Dubai, Dubai. I think they do an, sometimes do an Asian one. Yes. Uh, not sure if they do an Australian one, not seeing that. But then I know at the start of the year, they normally do like a a kind of world cruise, like a 180 day cruise, yeah. which is like a, a massive itinerary that goes all over. So there's them long ones as they well. They cover, a, a, like I say, they cover a lot of places, yeah. So another great thing that MSC have got, I mean, other cruise lines have got this as well, a few others, but some haven't got this. No. 
Um, but MSC, and this looks amazing by the way, has their own private island. So I think it's classed as in the Bahamas, it's like 65 miles east of Miami. Yes. And it's called the Ocean K. Yes, it, it does look really cool there. We, re we really want to go on an MSC yes. cruise around the Caribbean one day just to go to this island as well, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it looks yeah. cool there. They've got like, the, they got like a, a lighthouse thing, I think if you're there at night, they do like a display on it and stuff. Mm. It looks, looks amazing. All them Caribbean islands look that cool. Yeah, so we'd love to visit that one day. So that's a great reason if you're looking to cruise with MSC and you're maybe going around the Caribbean is to yeah. go to their island. And then one thing that some people don't like, some people do. But remember, we're looking at the positives yes, in this video. <laughs> is um, a lot of the MSC cruises, uh, you embark and disembark in multiple ports. So say if we got on a week's one in Southampton mm -hmm. and we did say uh, Hamburg, I'm trying to think where we went, Bruges, Rotterdam, Rotterdam and La Havre, a lot of them places people will get on and off. So that's, I think that's a good, I like that. I, I think that's a good thing as well because that means that multiple people can board the ship from their own country yet do the same itinerary, obviously in a slightly different yes. order, but you're still visiting all the same places, but you haven't had to fly, you know, so somebody can, you know, join the ship in Rotterdam and they haven't had to fly mm. to Southampton yeah. to then get onto the ship to do that. So that's a good thing yeah. because many people boarding in their home country. And then the ship might not always be full if you look at it that way. Yeah. Because say if you, like, I know P&O, you get on in Southampton, that's it. Mm -hmm. Like, if that ship's full, that ship is full. Yes. Whereas if you get on Southampton, it's full, and then let's say half the ship gets off in Hamburg, and uh, I know, a, a quarter get back on, it's not full then. Yeah. And so that, that's another way of looking at it. That's a good thing. And also as well, again, you can look at this in a good or a bad way, we're choosing the good <laughs> way, is then because it is doing that, the ship is very multicultural, yeah, which, like you know, when you are an avid traveller, I think that's always a nice thing yes. to, you know, that's why you enjoy travelling in the first place sometimes. Yeah. You know, I know, like, say, you can have the ships that are more British or something like that, you know, then there's nothing wrong with that either, oh, yeah. but I like the multicultural aspect of them. Yeah. Yeah, with cruising with MSC. The other good thing about these multi-port cruises is you can get, like, good cruise and stay packages as well, or you could do your own where, like, say, if you wanted to have a weekend say Hamburg first and then get that or yeah like that. say if you didn't want to like the Christmas cruise that we did say if we didn't want to get on in Southampton we could have then got the cruise getting on in say Hamburg yeah. and if you wanted to have a few days before get a flight to Hamburg and have yeah. a few days before that it's also it's a bonus getting it in your home country but you also it's a bonus if you want to yeah. visit somewhere and then get on the cruise in that country and you could always get off in Southampton you could fly to Hamburg, yeah, have a few days yeah. in Hamburg, get on the cruise in Hamburg, and then get off in Southampton. You don't yeah. have to do the full week. Yeah, so that's, that's a good idea. Thing. Yeah, it gives you like so many multiple options. Yes. Don't it? Yeah. Right, number three is uh, MSC offer free gratuities. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there is a couple, not many other cruise lines that offer this. I know P&O are one, yeah. and the Virgin Voyages, they say it's included in the price. I think more than they say yeah. it's free. So, you know, it's not something that you have to prepay or pay once you're on this ship with these cruises. But I think it's a really good thing because, you know, obviously you look at the price of a cruise and you think, you know, oh, that's a good deal. But say for like Royal Caribbean, for example, so you might look at their cruise and think, oh, that's a good price. But if you're a family of four, they charge $16 each a day. <clears throat> yeah. And that's from a child from birth, whether you take a two yeah. month old on, they still have to pay those gratuities. Because I know like Norwegian cruise lines start, they're $16 a day each also, but they start from age three and up. So if you're on Royal Caribbean and you're right. going for two weeks and there's four of you, yeah. that's a hell of a lot extra well, if, to put on top. If you're a family of four, yeah. in a minute, quick maths, 10, 20, 30, 40, 30. is that 64 euro, euros, dollars or pounds each for a family of four a day. Yeah, so if that's a 10 night cruise, that's $640 extra on top. So you've got to think with MSC, not only is that, you know, they're doing free gratuities, the price to start off with is always good, is already good. Yeah. So 
you already get a great deal and then on top you don't have to pay your gratuities so no. you know it's a, it's a good thing next up we've got number four and that's activities and things to do on the msc cruise ships particularly the two that we've done the sea view yeah. and the virtuosa and plenty of other ones the newer ships that are bringing out they seem exactly the yeah. same i know that if we ever went on a cruise with a lot of sea days I know that MSC, I would want to go on an MSC cruise just because there's like so much to do on there to keep us entertained. Yes, I mean, some stuff you pay for, some stuff is included. We've done videos on all that if you want yes. to go and check that out, explaining all of that. Yeah, because they have a thing called the Fun Pass. Yeah. Where you, we, like I say, we won't go into this, but you buy credit for do some of the stuff like bowling mm -hmm. or the Fully Simulator the F1. So they're some of the paid things. Then they've got the free things like the water slides. Yeah. They have um, activities going on throughout the day. Zip lining. They yeah, yeah. Zip lining. Oh, we had to pay for the zip lining. Mm -hmm. But the rope bridge course on the Virtuosa was free. Yeah. So, you know, there's so many things it's going like on. like bowling, things like that. Yeah. Movies like, you know, outside on the deck at yeah. night time. There's like so mm. much going on. And as I said at the beginning, our first cruise was on the P&O Iona, which was a lovely ship. Yeah. But much more likely for us personally to be bored if it was like a lot of sea yeah, days definitely. that we were doing. Yeah. Whereas with MSC, I know there's one with like the mechanical arm that they're bringing out, and they've got the World Europa. It's got that big twisty slide down the middle. I'd be on that all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. so many cool things on these. So as well, they've got all the theatre shows. They have them yeah. at night. They also, on sea days, have the odd one in the day. They had like an opera show on one of them we were on. A ballet, I think, as well. Yes. Performance on. And yeah. then they had the the staff coming out, doing on the stage, doing some songs Staff's and stuff. Staff's got talent or something that like that, yeah. Crew's cool. got talent or something yeah. like that, yeah. You know, it was just some of different bit of entertainment for the day while you're on a sea day, so, you know. I just, I doubt anyone can say on it, on the MSC cruises, that the bored no there's always some that do <laughs> and then the gala evening you might think this is a bit of a weird one because they all seem to do gala evenings but yeah. what we like with msc is you can either dress up or not dress up yeah on the three that we've done this is like the first time we did it we didn't realize so i took my shirt and jacket mm -hmm. and everything and then when we walk around we're like not everyone's wearing a shirt and jacket. Yeah, there's like a mix of people that do and the mix of those that don't. But if you don't, you don't get kicked out the main restaurant kind of thing. So you, you can still join in and all the stuff if you're not suited and booted. And again, not knocking P&O because, again, as this video goes out, yeah. we are on a P&O cruise. But on, when we went on the Iona for the first one and we experienced our first gala evening, yeah. there wasn't really much happening. No. Nothing really, did. There was nothing really on. There was no special thing. It didn't feel like a special evening, no. even though people had to dress up. Yes. Um, so it was a complete surprise to us when we went on an MSC cruise, and all three that we've done now, they completely make a night out of it. Was a big night thing. Of it. Yeah. yeah. Even, like I say, even though you don't have to dress up, they still make a big thing. Yeah. The captain comes out. All the crew members. And all the heads of, I was going to say heads of state, heads of like departments come out, and you. You know, you give them all a round of applause and stuff. The captain gives you a nice speech. The um, they put a special show on catered for the gala evening that mm -hmm. night on the, on the main theatre. They then have like a disco after the theatre show is ended. Yeah. So they really do like make a night of it. Yeah. And that that was nice. I thought it was a really fun. I think I look forward to those nights on an MSC yeah. cruise. And because I'm not a big fan of feeling like a penguin, <laughs> you know, I can just put a nice shirt on and a nice pair of chinos or something mm. and you don't feel like oh i'm a misfit kind of thing so but, i like that bit of but it. then don't think that if you do like dressing up like no that option is there for you nope. as well you'll see others dressed there's up a the good same mix. as you as well there's a good mix yeah, yeah. Is, uh, i think i like that mm -hmm. let's just say not long after we've been on the britannia we're going on an alaskan cruise yeah. which we've got to fly for nine and a half hours which is with princess cruises. which yes. yeah now obviously we can't I can't fit in a suit jacket and a shirt and another pair of trousers and a pair of shoes for one night. Yeah. So, you know, that's the, uh, the other good way to look at it. If you've got mm -hmm. to fly and you've got a luggage limit, then you don't have to worry about it. Although at the moment we're trying, we want to try other cruise lines moving forward, you know, oh, yeah. just because we want to see what Comparable. else is out there. Yeah. But we can only say that of our three MSC cruisy that we've done, we absolutely love them. Yes. And we will be looking at doing more MSC cruises in the future. Yeah, so yeah. like I say, don't let 
some of the, shall we say, overly clickbaity bad videos put you off? It almost seems like a trend to bash them. Now, I'm not saying they're perfect. So that's no, a whole no, other no, story. No. And, no you cruise know, liners. Yeah, no, cru no cruise liners. And there's bits of it that, you know, they might not be good at. But in general, for the money that you pay and the money that yes. we certainly pay go on them, we'd have a great time. And I don't think... They're as bad as I think sometimes that they're made out to be, that's no, for sure. No, yeah. definitely not. Well, let's be positive. And we know a lot of you, you know, when you have and you've sent us messages on Instagram or you've commented and mm -hmm. you said, I've just been on the MSC Virtuoso and I've had a great time. Yeah. I've absolutely loved it. And I think it's just to, you know, like encourage others to just give them a go because they aren't as bad as I think sometimes they've been made out no. to be. And others of you might not agree with that, but I know a lot of you to each have. Own. Yeah. Exactly. So let us know in the comments yeah. below. Um what would you say to others or your reasons for trying an MSC cruise? Like what did you particularly like about cruising yeah. with them? Yeah. Exactly. But keep an eye out in the next few weeks for all the Britannia stuff and then the Discovery Princess around Alaska stuff. Yeah. Because there'll and be lots of that stuff coming out. After then, there'll be... Who knows? Who knows? That's too far ahead uh, yeah. to think about now. <laughs> there'll be something, definitely, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. So, if you want to see them things, hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Like Say said, leave us a comment. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Mm -hmm. Helps us out greatly. So, I think that's it. Said all we came to say. Yeah. And hopefully we're still smiling like this when we get back off the Britannia. I'm sure we will be. I'm sure we will be. <laughs> Anywhere's better than here. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.